Welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sankoyak. Today we're going to talk about this bad boy right here. This is the ultimate. I mean, if you hunt and you're camping, you need to have this. This is mandatory. You ice fish, you spend time in your garage working on things in the winter. This is the ultimate go-to getter done heater cooker. Okay, it does both. It heats and it cooks. It's a phenomenal thing. Mine, you can see, is pretty beat up. Pretty damaged. It's been through the ringer. It's actually pushing about five years old. These are not very expensive. They're under 50 bucks um, and uh, they are incredible. This one that I have now and the one I'll put a link to below is nice because it does have three output settings, high, medium, and low. Some of the ones you buy are only come at high, but this one here, this uh, Mr. Heater one has multiple high, medium, and low settings on there. The thing is it does burn through propane pretty quick if you're on high. If you're on high, I'll, I'll put the specs and I'll somewhere in here right about now you're going to have a thing that shows you the details on this, the BTUs. It's, I know it's up to 15,000 I think. It does 8, 10, and 15 or something. But I'll have all those specs right here for you that you can see. But we bring this with us all the time even though I have a wood stove in my wall tent and we're using that wood stove, we don't run the wood stove all night. We fill it full as we go to bed. We get that nice, warm, and toasty in there, and about 3 o'clock in the morning, that wood stove burns out, and it's dead, and neither one of us get up to mess with it. This stays right next to my cot. In the morning, as soon as I wake up, I pull the lighter out, and I hit this thing and fire it right up, and then uh, there it is, and it's set and ready to go. This will heat that wall tent up. You know, it'll, it'll heat it up pretty quick. Um, in there for us to be able to get up and get dressed and do things and not have to be cold. It takes the chill out of there immediately. Um, I use it when I got to go out in the garage and work on something real quick. If I don't want to fire up a bigger heater or mess with stuff, if I got to go out and do something outside, this heater is with me all the time. It's very portable, very lightweight, easy to carry, and it does what you need. It is a very very powerful heater for what you're getting out of it. It's, and again, it does go through some tanks. So you're going to want to bring, if we're on a hunting trip for a week, I usually go through three tanks of propane, you know, the way we're using it. Now, we also use this as a cooker. Notice this weird L-shaped bracket designed to this. That is designed so that you can put it like this, lay it right on the ground, let this heat come out and rise up and do whatever you want to. Works incredible. Or you can flip this over and have it like this and use it as a cooker. So I can actually set my hot chocolate on there. There are my water for my hot chocolate and heat it up in, I don't know, 40 seconds. I can put pans on there and you can put whatever you want on here. This is how we cook in camp. This is how we make our food. We boil our hot dogs. We make our macaroni and cheese. This is what we use right there. And it's sweet, simple, and easy. And you can put anything that you want to on it. Matter of fact, you see mine's all beat up and broke. That's because I took about a five gallon pan, big turkey broaster pan with my deer that I killed in Kansas last year, I have to boil those heads out. I cannot bring them home and I want to do a full European mount. So I had to actually boil that head out to get rid of the brain matter before I could take it back into the state of Michigan. So I took this and I set it there and the reason it's all bent and beat up is because it kept, you know, it, only, it couldn't tolerate it very well, but I had a pot on there that's about the size of a five gallon bucket with that head in there resting on this as I was boiling it. It did bring it to a boil and it did do what I needed to do. Um, but you can see this is all bent up and beat up because it's, it's been through the ringer. Um, but it is a multifunctional tool, like I said, a heater and a cooker. It's a full kitchen in itself. It's, it's amazing what it does. So um, highly recommend it. It's not expensive and it is worth its weight in gold. You can bring it in a hunting blind with you. You can bring it in your ice shanty with you. You can use it. It's not rated for indoor use. So I don't recommend that you use this to heat your house. Okay, but it is in a wall tent where it's there in a tent like that where you're going to just heat it up in there real quick for a half hour to take the heat, you know, to heat the place up while you're getting dressed. I would have no problem with that. In my canvas wall tent, no worries whatsoever because it's canvas and it breathes constantly. So I'm not worried about that even a little bit. But this thing is just, man, the power of this thing, unbelievable. It is the one tool that I will, one of the tools I will never camp without. This thing is just worth its weight in gold. We have another one that's in a box somewhere in our attic. I have to dig it out, but we bought another one a while ago after we bought this. And like I said, they still got them. They're available on Amazon. I will have links down below for you. Um, I just checked on it today and their prices are still very, very good. Better than I found when I looked at Walmart or looked anywhere else. So um, Amazon would be a place to go for it, but I will have that link down below for you. I'll also throw in, if you want, this uh, like I said, I talk about this Optimus uh, kettle so many times, heats water so incredibly quick. And I just did a video review a few minutes ago, I don't know when you'll see it, but on this Stanport cook set, absolutely amazing. So watch for that as well too. It's either before this or after. If you're interested, 
the information on this thing is there because this is the ultimate uh, camp set for especially if you got more than one person but if you're doing anything other than backpacking where you have to have the ultralight titanium live out of a shot glass kind of thing this is the go-to set right here for everything and also very affordable I'll throw some links to it below but there is a video review on it so thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon all right bye